In this video you will learn how to use the visual editor to modify drawing annotations. All kinds of marks, associative notes, and dimension tags are examples of annotations. You'll learn how to add and delete elements and containers, and modify the representation of the entire object or individual elements. We will also cover zooming and loading predefined contents. To start modifying the properties of an annotation object, double-click the object in an open drawing. Let's double-click a section mark. As you can see, the property pane will open and show the current section mark contents in a box or boxes called containers. Let's load predefined contents for the section mark. To do that, select a property file from the property file list. To show either the property name or the property value in the preview, click the Properties or Values button. To zoom in or out in the preview, scroll the middle mouse button. You can click the percentage button to zoom to the best fit. Click Modify to see the changes. In Section Marks, you can indicate which end of the cutting line you want to work with by clicking Start or End. From the properties you can select which side you want to show the container on. Now, let's add new elements in a container. Click the container, and then click the New Element Plus button. Add an element. Let's add a new container. To do that, click the New Container button. Then click the plus button to add an element. Note that, elements will be added to the selected container. If no container is selected, elements will be added to the first container. In Section Marks, Detail Marks, or View Labels, you can add up to five containers. You can drag elements in most of the visual editors. However, in the Section Mark Editor, you can also drag containers and elements between containers. To delete an element or a container, click the Delete button here. You can modify the representation of the whole annotation or an individual element. You can also modify other properties, like the text placement, section symbol properties, and leader line type. Finally, you can change the distance between the container and the section line by dragging the container and adjusting its distance. Alternatively, you can change the offset for text values directly. Now the modified properties are highlighted in yellow in the editor. Click Modify to apply the changes in the selected section mark. 